Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to show you five things you should never do in a standard transmission car if you want it to last. Now the first thing is don't downshift all the time from fourth to third to second to first like a race car driver. Now race car drivers drive the way for a reason. They have a limited power band. Let's say the power band is 8,000 RPMs. They always want to keep the engine about 8,000 RPM. So if they're slowing down, they'll put it in the next lower gear or the next lower gear until they get to the maximum power band and then they keep shifting to keep it in the power band. But if you're just driving normally, you don't need to do that. You're going to wear out the engine and the transmission faster. And let's face it, brakes are a lot cheaper than clutches. Of course, in an emergency situation, sure, downshift to a lower gear, slam the brakes on. That'll stop the car the fastest. But for normal driving, downshifting isn't a smart thing to do if you want things to last. Now, the next thing not to do is don't drive down the road riding the clutch with your foot on the clutch the whole time you're driving. Have your foot on the clutch, pick it up. And then when you're done, put it to the side. Do not drive with your foot on the clutch or you will wear it out. I had a customer years ago with a standard transmission BMW. He kept wearing the clutches out and I thought, I wonder why he's wearing the clutches out. So I said, let's go for a ride. So we went for a ride. So I said to him, why do you have one foot on the clutch and one foot on the gas all the time? He said, well, the driver's instructors told me to do that. One foot on the clutch and one foot on the gas. I said, that person's an idiot. Don't listen to him. Do not ride the clutch. Now, the next thing not to do is if you're parking on a hill, don't just shut the car off and then put it in gear and walk away. I see more cars roll down hills because they either came out of gear or the engine wasn't strong enough to hold it and it just started slowly rolling backwards. What you want to do is have one foot on the clutch pushed down, one on the brake, then put it in gear and pull the emergency brake on. Then when you shut the car off, guess what? It's not going to roll anywhere. Now modern clutches need very little maintenance, but you don't want to forget the tiny bit of maintenance that a modern clutch system needs. Now when I was a kid, most clutches were manually adjustable like my motorcycle here. You want to have, oh, half quarter inch of play before it starts to grab. That was just adjusted by turning the star adjuster. As they wear, they actually got tighter, and you'd have to loosen them up a little. It was a very simple thing, and if you have a car like that, do adjust it every once in a while when it gets too tight. Now, most modern vehicles use hydraulic clutches that have brake fluid in them. You don't need to adjust them, they adjust themselves, but the fluid does get dirty over time. So, you want to change the fluid and flush it out every, ah, two, three, four years. It's no big deal to do, but if you don't, the dirty fluid inside can ruin the seals. And some of these clutch systems cost a lot of money to change the master or slave cylinders. For example, some Ford pickup trucks with standard transmissions, the slave cylinder is built inside the housing. So you have to pull the transmission off to change the slave cylinder. It can cost you well over a thousand bucks. So you want to keep the fluid clean and it's no big deal flushing it out every two or three or four years. It's not that hard to do. You can use the turkey baster, or suck it out and then bleed the bottom part. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about is clutch replacement. Realize eventually clutches wear out and you have to replace them. But when they do wear out and the clutch disc gets thing, just don't replace the clutch disc. Get a whole kit with all the parts. When the clutch disc gets thin, it'll start to slip. Then you need to change it. But don't just buy the disc. You gotta pull the transmission off. It's a gigantic job. Get a clutch set that's got all the clutch parts in it. The disc, the plate, throw out bearings. And this one, hey, it's even got a nice alignment tool so you can align it and fit it in right. It's foolhardy to pull a transmission off a car and guess that the other parts will last for a lot longer change everything, then you don't have to think about it for a long time. So now you know how to make your standard transmission car last as long as possible and serve you many years without having the hassle of rebuilding that an automatic transmission often needs. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.